and that'll make a, a recording. And it should be recording. It's recording. Okay, wonderful. So okay. like every time you, how you do it, <laughs> it's, well, uh, you, you do it, uh, you do this uh, as usual, right? <laughs> well, I had problem with Facebook. It's given me lots more options, but uh, mm -hmm. it turns out that I can ignore those options because that's on, on the, everything on the right hand side of the screen that lets you get a stream key and get a code to put into your uh, stream software that's that's in case you have your own stream software but if you just want to make facebook do it you just stick to the left side and that's all as before you put a title you put a description of what, what it is and then uh, you say go live and bang it works just like before so i hadn't i've just been confused by it because it's uh yeah so well anyway let me let me introduce us Let's see, we're doing a number of things here. First of all, we just had a uh, Teachers Learning Together Summit last weekend on, uh, what was October 9th and 10th? October 10th, Minnie, or uh, Minnie Wang, uh, who's here with, with me, was going to uh, make a presentation. And she was unable to do it because she was unable to reach the, uh, the Zoom uh, client that they were using for the conference. But Zoom works for her just fine. So we decided to repeat it now. And then we're going to put it into the conference. Let me just uh, uh, let me share the screen. Let's see, which screen should I share? This one, I guess. OK. Uh, this is Google Chrome. OK, so if I, I believe it's here. Yeah, this is right. This is it. This is uh, where your presentation will go. It was mm -hmm. scheduled for Saturday. Internet plays an important role in self-education. And all this will disappear uh, after uh, today. And we'll, we'll, put that, uh, we'll put your recording in that place. So it will become part of the archive. OK. Everything OK? Oh, you're muted. You're muted on purpose? No, Sorry, uh, uh -huh. I was talking with my husband. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Okay. All right. So anyway, uh, that was the uh, learning together, the teachers learning together summit, if this is going to be a part of. And that was also learning together episode 494. This is learning together episode 495. And it's also a Sunday. So it's... Uh, Sunday uh, webheads in action the the 29th uh, webheads in action what we call uh, weekly open mic fun in ours so we can have fun here but anyway so uh, Minnie is going to make a presentation for I guess 30 minutes if you can keep it down to that that would be nice because that's otherwise that's how it fits in with the other recordings in the program okay so. Uh, and also, I have to tell you, this is the 18th of October, and uh, the 18th of October, yeah, this would, yeah, 2020, 18th of October, 2020. I knew I'd forgotten something there. <laughs> okay, I'm Vance Stevens. I'm in Penang, Malaysia. Minnie is in near uh, Nanjing, and yeah. Uh, yeah, so, and you can go ahead and carry on. So I can share my screen. You can share your screen, huh? Okay. Oh, at first I want to say thank you mm -hmm. <laughs> because you give me another extra opportunity to do my presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, you make me so um, special. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, you're the only one okay. who missed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm in China and mm -hmm. I'm mini. Um, uh, right now I work uh, as a cost engineer and for 20 plus year, my job was a uh, technician in a laboratory. It's a petroleum laboratory. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, right now I learned how to teach online and also um, uh, enjoy my life. <laughs> Great. So I'm going to share my screen. Mm -hmm. and, okay. uh, and you don't forget to choose. put in the sound. Oh. 
when you share the screen, oh, you yeah. have to, yeah, you have to allow it to play sound. Oh, I think I should do it again. Okay. Internet oh, no. plays an important role in self-education. Oh, what to get back to? Because I, I, I close the share. Take... Close the share. Stop sharing. Okay, stop sharing. Mm -hmm. I'll get you back into Zoom. Okay. There you go. Okay, and now share, and then you'll oh, see the uh, where yeah, you go. The computer. Yeah, share yeah. the computer voice. Yes, that's right. Uh -huh. And uh, share. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we are. Okay, because she's playing. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to uh, share music with mm -hmm. you. Okay. So I can start. Yes, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me play my uh, PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my topic today is. Uh, Internet plays an important role in self-education. So um, my presentation um, is divided into four parts. The first one is an introduction of meaning. Second one is network resources and how I use them. The third one is follow Sapien with the internet and conclusion. Okay. So about me, self-education is my lifestyle. Since 1998, uh, I got my daughter. My daughter uh, was one year old. And I think I need to learn some English so that I can help her when needed. <laughs> so uh, in 2002, um, my colleague told me that uh, I can find a partner on the internet so that I can learn English from them. So I signed up my language exchange.com and find Mrs. Tammy from North Carolina. And um, at first, you know, I don't know how to speak English and we exchange email address and we wrote emails um, back and forth in about two months. Then I uh, started talking with her on Pill Talk and on Yahoo Messenger. In 2004, I started talking kids English, um, teaching kids English class. I also get um, a series uh, of course book called Playway to English level one to level four. And uh, I used these books, um, have been used this uh, for 10 years. And in 2005, I took part in um, self-taught high education examination in Jiangsu province to get a bachelor degree because I have never been to college. My two year junior college was in Chongqing mm -hmm. and it's a petroleum school. Yeah, mm -hmm. my major was chemical, uh, uh, petroleum uh, chemical and um, in 2008, I learned French from a, a man called Herbert from Paris. Mm -hmm. We talk on Skype and uh, he taught me French. I helped him with Chinese in return. Um, well, I just type all the textbooks in French um, in emails to send the emails to him and he read the textbooks for me and make audio files and send all them back to me. And I uh, just listen to the audio files and passed French one of my examinations because I have to choose a second foreign language mm -hmm. from Russia, Japanese and French. I, choose, I chose French because I think French is a little bit similar um, with English. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, a, a little bit background. Hmm. Okay. Interesting because in 1998, that's when I started teaching online WebEds and Act, sorry, WebEds, WebEds, uh, writing for WebEds, we called it. It was the first yeah. WebEds group. And yeah. you could easily have that been a student back then. <laughs> 
It was just an informal, yeah. informal group. It's like webheads. There's no, 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 you didn't sign up for anything. You just met online yeah. and taught. Because I don't have an, any English speaking or listening basis. Mm. I don't know how to say it, how to speak English at, mm. at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At that moment. I didn't. You didn't. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not, I, I didn't speak English. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, network resources and how I use them in self education, teachers and partners as I mentioned before, and now materials. Mostly I download stories and audio news and videos, and right now presentation like slides, I can get from the internet and YouTube. And methods I use um, mostly, um, we, we do retelling, summary and headline writings, and uh, X-Mind. It's X-Mind. Yeah. So these are websites that I um, in my favorites, uh -huh. and you you see I, it, it's uh, updated because uh, the the last one I just added to to the list. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what you're doing uh, now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I check it almost every day mm -hmm. to learn English translation and uh, online teaching. I just love it. Great. Then I test on AI translators. This is a paragraph of Chinese. I, I, I want to know which translator is um, better. So I put this paragraph in translate google.cn and uh, Fanyi, Fanyi means translate by do and uh, Ding Talk AI translator. And I got, I've got three different versions of uh, translation in English. I just try to uh, compare and choose wisely. Mm -hmm. So what and how with WeChat? And as you know, um, WeChat is um, an application used all over China and um, it's an all-in-one application too. So during the pandemic, <laughs> I should say, you know, from um, January, January the 24th to April the 1st, mm -hmm. uh, I was homebound. I worked from home. And I think that I thought I would have a lot of time and uh, I'll learn something. I'll learn something on the internet. So instead of uh, having leftovers and single flavored food for every meal, um, we, do, we did some search on the internet for recipes and get shopping list and shopping on the internet also, um, cook while uh, watching videos downloaded from the internet. And the food is, was just delicious. And I took yoga, uh, yoga class to keep fit. We couldn't go out, <laughs> we couldn't. So we exercise at home. And I took a calligraphy class to stay calm and also is a kind of uh, exercise, body and, um, and mental. And to learn Chinese painting, mostly freehand brushwork. That's my favorite. And also painting is one of my hobbies. And also I learned English listening and speaking I uh, have been practicing English on these subscriptions on WeChat. And I heard someone learn English very well just listening to VOA <laughs> and, and more, more subscriptions for students to learn. And I thought I need to find um, a teacher on the internet, on WeChat or, you know, to, to learn play this uh, instrument. I just love it. So I did a search and luckily I found a teacher who is from Xi'an and he put his videos on WeChat. There's a, another subscription and um, put the camera on the selling and so that we can um, look directly uh, at her, his hands and how he do the, the scales. Mm. 
yeah, this is how I learned the music. Wow. I didn't know it was possible to learn to play an instrument on the internet. Yeah, so um, the teacher just uh, set a group here. Now you can see 180 person mm. here, including three teachers. When we play uh, the music, we can record ourselves and uh, send our, our videos here. The teacher will feed, give us feedback on how to, uh, to do it better, give us suggestions here. <laughs> So uh, the teachers are very responsible, um, very good teachers. So now I'm going to share uh, music performed by my teacher. And uh, when you are listening to the music, you can also hear um, Mr. Han Chi read the lyrics. The music is called Song of Crouching Dragon, translated by Wu Zhou. Song of the Crouching Dragon. Since boyhood, I studied the classic toward excellence in self-cultivation. Now, well-versed in the ways of the universe, I claim to be a fine strategist. A humble farmer, though I am tilling my land, I always been concerned about the state. Yet my zeal is for whom to know. I, like a phoenix. longing for high winds beneath its wings, but the chaotic time plunged me into deep sighs. Thrice did my lordship visit my cottage in person, where we chatted cordially, sitting knee to knee. To meet a soulmate in middle age, what a blessing to be an unknown man like me, wearing a silk kerchief and weaving my feather fan, I join his service tomorrow, my sword in hand. The dragon lifts off at the meeting of the wind and cloud. Venting my sentiments at this opportune moment, I let out a cry long and loud. Yet my dream will remain unchanged. I'll be back after our cause is accomplished and go on tilling my land. Amidst the breeze and the moonlight then, apes and cranes will hear me play the zither again. The world is full of changes, and who can tell about the future for sure? Yet human efforts, do you make a difference? Having promised my service, I serve with full dedication. A man is supposed to accomplish something in his life, doing his best to bring peace to the times. Yet my dream will remain unchanged. I'll be back after our course is accomplished and go on tilling my land. Amidst the breeze and the moonlight then, apes and cranes will hear me play the zither again. Very nice. You, yeah, so I want to say, yes, uh, human efforts do make a difference, right? This is one of my favorites because uh, it says a man is supposed to accomplish something in his life. I like it. I quite like it. Okay. It's a, a good uh, insight into culture. And yeah, culture it's talking a about Zhu mm -hmm. Kuoming, a military counselor. counselor mm -hmm. in, uh, he's one of the uh, uh, military counselor of um, the three kingdoms in our mm -hmm. history. 
but the music was written in 1994. Mm, okay. Yeah. 1994. So, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. What and how with Ding Talk? Ding Talk is another application with the use very often and uh, I will show you something about this um, app so this is our group it's kind of zoom and uh, you can type text or you can send audio uh, messages and you can also create new tasks and you can send notification and uh, do video conference and uh, group live. When you do group live, you can give a title to uh, live and uh, you can set live mode like camera, screen sharing, professional mode, and classroom mode. During the pandemic, Chinese teachers use this to teach the students and all the students just use their parents' cell phones to take class. And you can save playback here. And this is what you showed us earlier, right? That had the translation tools. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's very, can, very interesting application. Yeah. I, I so can link recording. back to that other translate, uh, the, the other uh, where you showed it to us before. I can link back to that. Uh -huh, yeah, so at the moment, I didn't know how many languages you can translate it to. So right now I can show you AI auto translation. So when in the vote, the message you receive will be automatically translated. Currently, this feature supports multiple languages. So you can see how many, 13 languages. If you use your cell phone, you can also translate from Chinese to German. And you can choose to show original text and translation or translation only. And here, if if in the vote, when in the vote, messages you send will be translated automatically. Currently, this feature supports translation between English and nine other languages. But if you do translation from Chinese, you can have three, uh, 13 or 14 languages. It depends on if you are on a computer or on cell phone. So uh, this is before yeah. you showed us how it worked. I don't know if that's possible, but that was very interesting. Yeah, we use that frequently. So as I remember, you your students can use that. They can get things in English, translate them to Chinese, mm -hmm. or they can get things in Chinese, translate them to English, and pretty much on the fly. So that what that means is that right away. So if you hear something in, and it, it works on audio, right? It's not just uh, yeah. text, it's, it's audio. It tr translates what they hear into their language. Right. If someone have, uh, has Chinese students, they can use Dintalk. Mm -hmm. I mean, I recommend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very convenient for them to communicate. Mm -hmm. If you don't know how to say or what to say, you just do yeah. the translation. They will that, know, right? That's very important. You know, I mean, you're not suggesting people use it during their exams, but uh -huh. when they're talking to one another, trying to communicate, trying to learn the language, this is it's what's called a Rosetta Stone. It's, you know, it's a one language on one side, another language on another, and you can match. Uh, so yeah. you can do mm -hmm. it just in an app. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's amazing. It's a really, really nice app. I'll, I'll link to where you showed it to us before because you, you gave us a demonstration of uh, how it worked. Yeah. So set him with the internet. That's me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mostly I search the internet um, based on problem oriented and technology driven. And when I access the materials, I just compare and choose wisely. 
uh, I do um, presentations, but mostly in Chinese, present or share with his studies. Interaction, I just choose um, proper partner with applications, mostly WeChat and Dean Talk. Um, we learn together. Mm -hmm. Evaluation, we do uh, examinations and tests on the internet. And all the above we do just in English. We don't speak Chinese. So in non-native language, mm. that's my suggestion mm. for, okay. um, yeah, a foreign language learner. <laughs> a conclusion here, internet is a combination of a digital library, a software, a software um, workshop, or a magic platform, a large stage, or I can say it's a nice place for people who are uh, like-minded, get together and uh, learning together. <laughs> yes, excellent. Yeah, hopefully um, now we're looking at, at our next generation, they are self-educating themselves in the sun during the pandemic. They're very self-disciplined. Uh, and uh, I'm happy to, to say I'll be um, an online teacher in the near future, even um, either teach Chinese English or teach the foreigners Chinese. Mm -hmm. I'll just getting myself ready in five years. Okay, that's the end uh -huh. of my presentation. Thank you for your patience. Oh, very nice. Very nice presentation. I really appreciate that. So that's the presentation everybody missed. I don't know why people haven't come out for this one, but it's being recorded so <laughs> they can see it and we'll add it to that archive so that they'll, they'll have it, you know, so if anybody looks for your presentation in the archive, I'll include it there with its video embedded in that uh, blog post. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So you're going to teach in, you say in five years, you're going, you have a plan for five years from now or? four or five years or what, what did you mean? By yeah, that? my five year plan. I think mm -hmm. I need to learn and practice <laughs> so that uh, I can be a better teacher. Yeah, okay. I would say it should be a five week plan. But <laughs> I mean, especially you know, when you're hooking up with groups like Learning Together uh, or Webheads. Uh, Webheads used to have, when we first started it, uh, about the time that you started uh, that your daughter was one year old and you were uh, uh, trying to learn English. At that time, that's when we started teaching each other. In 2002, the teachers who were interested in webheads, writing for webheads, uh, kind of got together to teach each other in their own plan uh, how to use internet tools. And so that was the webheads in action. Um, but anyway, that's the, at the time we had um, I can't remember how many. I, I had a graph in the in one of the slides I showed in the um, at the summit at, at the teacher summit, uh, showing how many uh, how many messages we had. I tracked the number of messages. Well, actually, Yahoo did that for us. And Groups I O, I moved Yahoo our archives to Groups I O, and they uh, track the number of messages. And you can see that it gets very high, very active, and then it started to taper off. Where is it going yeah. there? Okay, and then now it's coming up a little bit because of the revival of the web heads in action. So if you want to send messages to that group, I'm sure that people would answer your questions or even on the Facebook groups that you've joined. Um, any of those, you can post uh, questions and people should answer. That's what we usually do. We usually try to help each other. So no one can resist a question from a colleague and you're yeah, sure, sure you're sure to get responses if you need any help. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy to be here to be with you, and uh, I do learn a lot. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, since July the 15th. <laughs> Are you going to join EVO Electronic Village Online? Are you? Do you know about EVO? Well, no, uh, I'm not sure. Let me let me take the screen share and I'll show you. Hang on a second. Let's okay. See. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Let's see where I can get it. Yo, I guess over here. Um, reduce that screen so I can browse in there. Uh, where would be a good place to start? That funny noise is back, but it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, EVO sessions. This, this is EVO sessions.pbworks.com. That's mm -hmm. really all you need is that part of it. EVO sessions. It, okay. um, it takes you to where we, we've done this. You can see actually there's a, a, something over here. Where is it? Uh, uh, previous sessions. Yes, we've been doing this since for, for about 20 years now. So these are all the previous sessions. We've been goes back to 2001. So everything is uh, archived. So you can see you can visit the sessions that went before. But at the moment, we're starting up EVO 2021. Oh, Claire, Claire is here. Hi, Claire. How are you doing? Hi, Hi Claire. Hey. Oh, you, so missed, are you. you missed the presentation. We'll have to do it again. I know. It's very early in the morning here. <laughs> uh, don't worry. You know, actually, uh, we're recording it. And so uh, oh, and I'll, nice. I'll add it to the archive as well. It's really nice to see you. I was just oh, telling nice uh, Minnie about Electronic Village Online. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, this is so basically most of this is about submitting proposals. But I think we had we have somewhere in here. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, I don't know where we have the information about uh, what we're doing this year. but. We'll, uh, it starts in January. So in, in December, you can pick ses sessions that you can go to. Uh, let me show you some of the sessions. Okay, thank you. I'll show you about the sessions that are coming online you can, so you'll know what to choose from. So these are the sessions that have been proposed so far. Um, I don't know, speaking skill for primary wow. students. Yeah, 22 of them. EVO Minecraft wow. MOOC, that's a nice one. Flipped learning and language <laughs> I, teaching. I wonder who that could be. I have some really cool people. Grammar uh, for uh, uh, TESOL. Uh, uh. Yeah, so uh, then, anyway. That's, that's Vance's presentation, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, EVO Minecraft MOOC, yeah, I'm uh, into Minecraft. Um, anyhow, these are the, you can't reach this page, but just to show you what sessions are offered, there are so many, you can, choose them and take them for free. They last for uh, five weeks. And they're very okay. interactive, very interactive. You meet people that are just like us, that we like to learn together. And uh, don't tell her that she'll run away screaming. <laughs> no, no, she's <laughs> quite into it. She's <laughs> oh, you'll have to listen to the recordings. We've been talking about learning together. Oh. Where are you, Minnie? Oh, Nanjing, China. Oh, really? Okay, great. <laughs> Great. I've seen your name, but I have not met you before. Oh, I watched your presentation the other day. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just love it. Was that our I'm, panel? I'm... Our panel, you mean? Mm hmm Yeah. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm doing another presentation next Saturday for the teachers in Bangladesh. Are we? You know, I just check... Um, learning together every day. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just fall in love with you guys. <laughs> really wonderful. I mean, okay. I can learn a lot and get inspirations and yeah. you know, try to um, to share with um, my friends. I have yeah. some friends, they are teachers. This page. Are you a teacher, Minnie? Um, not really. Now, okay. now I, um, I'm a course uh, engineer working in uh, petrochemical of uh, uh, Petro China. Okay. Yeah. I'll yeah. be uh, retired in five years. Oh, okay. You don't look like you're ready to retire. You're not as <laughs> old as, as Vance and I are. We're, we're Thank old. You. old. <laughs> uh, so I give myself five years to, you know, to be an online teacher great oh great. that's the reason for five years yes you want to be ready for when you retire then you can teach mm -hmm. oh you'll be ready i mean we'll we'll uh, yeah we'll, i can we'll get you i done. can teach chinese i can teach english i think i can mm -hmm. help the students to fulfill their dreams they will yeah. have a different life i think right <laughs> yeah yeah for sure uh that i we're both language teachers uh i taught english for 20 years Maybe longer than that. I don't know. 
40. No, I've been yeah, 20 years in the, in the, yeah, 40 years. I've been teaching since 1976. So, oh, um, wonderful. yeah. Um, yeah. And I've really enjoyed it. I'm so glad I was a teacher and still am. I mean, it, it just, I, when I went to work for a software company, you know, the one in California with Phil Hubbard and yeah, uh, I remember that's, that. <laughs> that's how Webheads got started because I David David was that guy. Yeah, David Wynette. Oh, Dave. Oh, David. Uh, yeah, the guy ran the country. Company. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, yeah, it was uh, David Welch. David Welch. Was yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I taught um, kids English class in uh, since two thousand and four to two thousand and fourteen in my mm. garage. On weekends. Oh, wow. In your garage. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, totally 12 children from four years old to 12 years old, including my daughter, Cece. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> the, m my wife got into kindergarten teaching in the same way because she wanted, she, first, she's a natural teacher. She loves kids. And she just took our children into the schools and taught them uh, kindergarten and uh, you know so it was very involved as a family thing really but yeah that's uh, when you're teaching your own kids plus other kids uh -huh. it's really yeah. nice it's mm -hmm. a lot of fun while mm -hmm. being with the, the children yeah uh, yeah I feel I've, I felt young <laughs> I mean mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah because that's, that's a good age uh, 12 four years old they're really yeah, think, at the time, at the moment, um, uh, a little boy um, was four year old, and mm -hmm. um, my daughter is. Uh, that was let me see. My daughter was in two thousand two. Uh, he's five years old. Mm. He was five years old. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think uh, I need to get her, got her ready uh, for kindergarten, and he can speak. He could speak a little bit English, and that that's good, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just sing songs and dance and do uh, role plays with playway to English. It's a very good course book. Yeah, Vance Vance has two sons, and they are teachers also. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. In, uh, in Doha, and we're in Malaysia, not far away, but unfortunately. We can't travel right together right now. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of that, what, how's Mark? Mark, I think Mark is stuck in Thailand. Uh, he was living in Vietnam. Oh, Remember I'm sorry. Was... Mark Siskin. You're... Oh, oh, Mar oh my, my, so that's my son, Mark. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> actually, right now, my husband is in quarantine. Yes, you told uh, us. Mm -hmm. Well, he's still in quarantine. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow is Monday. Tomorrow... He and I both have to go and get tested for the ah, virus. Okay. And, oh, uh, our, okay. Our, do our doctor said not to take the, there's one test that they, you get very early and it's very quick, but it, it's not very reliable. And the result, like 25% of the results are wrong. So our doctor told us to wait until the end of the quarantine and take the immunities test. Mm -hmm. So that's where they check the antibodies and your blood mm -hmm. or something. Okay. So we are going to, because that test is much more reliable. Mm -hmm. So we are, we are both going tomorrow morning to have the antibodies test. And then if, if that test is negative, he can go back to work uh, on, on Wednesday. Uh, right now, Mark is forbidden to go to his university. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he's, he's working he, online, I presume. Yeah, well, he worked online for about yeah. five months, and then uh -huh. he went back to work because they are moving his lab to a different building, mm -hmm. and so you can't really do that remotely <laughs> oh, <laughs> with okay. all the equipment, oh. the servers, and everything. Mm. So he went back to work in late August, and he, mm. I guess about six weeks he worked at uh, at the office, but nobody was there. All they're doing all the teaching online and everything. So somebody, one of his student workers, tested positive for the virus, and mm. so. Uh, that's why he's in quarantine, but, yeah. but he doesn't have any symptoms. He's feeling okay, fine. Good. Yeah. I'm feeling fine. So I think the probability is very high that we don't have the virus. Yeah, that's good. That's but good to the know. Number of, the number of cases right now in the United States is rising. Yes, everywhere. Yeah. Even yeah. here in the really? uh, second wave. Yeah, it's, 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 it's exploding. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For similar reasons, political reasons, because they had an election in Sabah and they let people go to Sabah to vote. 
and oh they let them back yeah. in without quarantine because yeah. they wanted people to be encouraged to go back so, and forth. Yeah, yeah. So and Sabah is yeah. a hot spot. It's a Malaysian hot spot. So it's, oh, an, is it really? it's on yeah. Borneo. Yeah. So. Uh, oh yeah, I I went to to uh, Kuching. You know where Kuching mm -hmm. is? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, when I was doing my English language specialist thing, I, I went to Kuching. Ha, did you know that if you travel from Kuala Lumpur to Kuching, you have to go through customs and passport and everything? To, but it's part of Malaysia, but they treat it like <laughs> a different country. Yeah, I, I have been there, but uh, yeah. we weren't living in Malaysia at the time. Yeah, absolutely. I think we went from Singapore. Yeah. Yeah. Many. How is it in Nanjing? How is? Do you have much vir uh, virus there? Coronavirus? No, no, I don't think so. Let me check. Maybe one or two. But in Qingdao, okay. you know, the, the city of Qingdao. Okay. These days, mm -hmm. um, um, okay. there are uh, or millions of people get tested. Uh -huh. So are the children going to school in your city? Yeah, they're okay. Let me see. In April, I think in April, they went to school. Okay. Mm. With masks. But right now, mostly um, the children don't wear masks. That's good. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah, so everything that, is normal. Yeah, I think if people are reasonable and you know take yeah. care of others mm -hmm. and take care of themselves, then uh, you know. What a, uh, what a concept. Yeah, right. <laughs> and have tracing <laughs> on your mobile phones. So if you go anywhere, yeah. any Malaysia, if you you have to buzz in. Yeah. They, say that you were there yeah. so they we, well pennsylvania just came out with an app and i have it but it hasn't sent me any notifications uh, so we have voted we voted by mail oh good and we mm -hmm. made sure my mother-in-law voted by mail so mm -hmm. we, we just we just have to see what our president is going to do he says you know he has when he goes to his rallies he's now having people chant 12 more years so yeah. we don't even know even if he is elected we don't know if he will leave so we don't know. It's very, very serious. I think he will be defeated. I'm an optimist. Well, I think he'll disappear. You know, four. There are four in our province. Ah, okay. Four, four cases. Four ah. cases. Yeah. Ah, okay. And what, what do those people do? Do they have to stay home or do they go to the hospital? They go or to what? the hospital. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, my, my son uh, was in Vietnam. I think he's in Thailand now because mm. Vietnam is being very strict about cases. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. So just so be you, careful. Yeah. So you like living in Malaysia, Vance, I take it. Yeah. I, I, you know, it was much nicer living here in Malaysia before COVID. But now that, you know, if you have to pick a place that you just want to chill you know you, you have to stay and it's a really very nice place for that so it's fairly safe i think and uh, mm -hmm. in penang it doesn't really have uh, much problem I, we have high numbers because they're in, it's running through a prison right now but uh mm -hmm. i think in the general population i don't know bobby what was the what's the case the numbers of cases today would you know oh, yeah. bobby keeps track 800 tell, tell bobby i said hi oh yeah hi bobby <laughs> From Claire, tell them. Yeah, let's see. Tell her it's from me. Yeah, it's from Claire. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hang on a minute. There she is over there. Oh, I don't see her. I just here see she, a bookshelf. Here she comes. Yeah. Hello. Yep. Hi there. <laughs> Hi everybody. How are you doing, honey? Hi. Good to see you. This is Mini. It sounded Minnie, like huh? a a good uh, session. Yeah. I, I was listening while I was cooking at the same time. Oh, you're cooking beautiful. Dinner. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. In fact, we need to go and eat dinner because yeah. there is yeah. another, you know, for the EVO, the, the moderator training, people, moderators have just put in proposals. Those 22 proposals were put in, and now we have a, a training session for them. Mm -hmm. And that actually starts at 10, but I want to so be able to eat. you better go eat then. I want yeah. to eat for that, yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Okay. Manny, it was very nice to meet you. I hope to see you again soon. In Me London too. Together. Me too. Okay. <laughs> so to enjoy you, your Bobby. dinner, Bobby okay. and Vance. I'm okay. leaving. Bye-bye. Okay. I, I can take nice a hint. see you guys. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Very nice presentation, Minnie. Really, I think that's going to make a great addition to the summit. And I'm so Thank glad you. that you got to come and do the presentation. And at least we had an audience.
Wow. Okay. Oh, I'm so appreciated for your uh, encouragement and yeah. uh, you hope you are um, offer me a, an extra uh, opportunity. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. It was a nice presentation and, and you did it very well so, and you kept it to 30 minutes, which is really excellent. So I a lot of people 10 yeah. times, oh, <laughs> about wonderful. 10 times. Well, it shows, it shows you were very careful and you were very, uh, your delivery was very good and, and very, and yeah, timing I know, was I do. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So go ahead and enjoy your dinner. Okay. With I have your to, um, I, lovely Bobby. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. I'm going to switch off all the things. I got to stop the live stream. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's going live. It's been streaming live okay. on Facebook all this time. I've got another computer over here. I've been watching it. Yeah, okay, cool. and the recording, okay. I'll stop the recording. I'm so happy. Minnie Wang in uh, Nanjing in China and Vance Stevens in Penang, Malaysia. The 18th of October, 2020. And we're on Learning Together, episode 495. And the 29th, Webheads in Action, fun in our, we're having fun. So, and, yeah. <laughs> okay, and this is, this is going into the archive for the... Uh, uh, teachers learning together summit. Okay. You can look for it there uh, tomorrow sometime, I suppose. Uh-huh. Okay. Avail. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.